Hey guys, it is Buster72, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, for those of you who don't know, there's a new update in Pet Sim. Um, I am doing a very late update video on it. I just wanted to make sure I got everything and understood everything um, before I do a video. So, hopefully, this is a quick video just running through it, and hopefully, I'm able to tell you guys something new um, after everything I found. But, anyways, so. For those of you who don't know, if you want to get to the new area, first thing like I do is you go to Rainbow Road here. There, flying over. And then you are going to rebirth here. It's going to send you back to the beginning, and then you got to work your way back up, and then you can go into the rocket ship. Also, something else in case you guys have not noticed, balloons are way more common. So, where is it? This achievement of the doing the balloon popper, much easier. Would have helped a lot last clan war. But anyways, so what you can do is you can go inside the rocket ship here. And it will take you over to uh, world number two, which is actually like a separate server. All right, so I mean, it's not that much. This is like what everyone's seen. It's kind of like the beginning um, of world one. Um, there are warps here you can go through uh, once you have it. So it just like teleports you to different spots. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys some. So as we're going along here, uh, where is it? Up here, an area, I don't even know what area this is. Area 105, you've got the, yourselves the hoverboard obby. Um, I don't know about you guys, I find this one extremely difficult. Um, yeah, like, oh gosh, I missed that one. Um, I just, I, I just am terrible at controlling a hoverboard. So if you guys find an easy way to do this, let me know. Um, what was I going to say though? So every single time you go into this obby, it's actually different. So if there's one like route that you really don't want to do just leave the obby and come back in and it'll be a new route for you um let's see if i can make that oh let's go um but yeah that's all i have to say about the hoverboard obby it's difficult i don't like it and then if you want yeah if you want the new route just come back in and get yourself the new route all right oh my gosh guys that actually took me forever i just wanted to show you guys the rewards the rewards at the end are actually kind of garbage um it's like any other obby, so there's really no point in doing the obby, in my opinion. Anyways, moving on. Um, again, you got more warps. Um, something else that's also in this game, which is super cool, is they added this um, diamond wheel thing here. Um, and so you have a 0.01% chance of getting this huge high-tech tiger. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Um, but so... That boils to like a one in a ten thousand chance, um, and to be totally honest, you're gonna be spending three hundred mil on um, diamonds if you want like to spin it ten thousand times. If you want odds to actually work out for you, so um, I mean, do it at your own risk if you really want. Um, I think it's a waste, but you know, it's it, it's gambling. Gambling is really addicting. I love gambling. Um, all right, so coming out of there, next area we got here is the weekly quests. So in world, okay, in world two, you can get weekly quests, and you have like three cards, and you get to pick one, and you get a weekly quest. In world one, there are a couple places where you can get um, daily quests and like three day quests. Right here in this area is also where you can get air twenty nine is where you can get your daily quest. I've already done it, so I don't get a new one. Um, as you can see, I have a cooldown right here, nine hours, so I'll just come back in nine hours and get it. And then right here is the three-day quests, where you can come here to get the three-day quests. Um, I, again, already completed mine, so I can't come back for another three days. Um, and then coming up here, here at World, what is this? World 120, this place is probably actually one of the coolest, is you have an item creator. So, oh, darn, I'm in the middle of one right now. But, so you have like an option of like nine items that'll be here, and you get to pick one, and then you get a quest with it, and then once you complete the quest, you get whatever, however, never, however many items there are over there. Also, on this side, you get this chest, which actually gives you like really good loot. So, I'd very much recommend hitting that chest as often as possible. Um, and then you just come up here to the end, and this event here, and this is where the chest raid is, and for those of you who don't know, this week's clan battle is to get the most points in chest raid, or complete the most rooms, which is really great for everyone who's living in the central time zone, and it's close to central, but, alright, so that's 
practically it in World 2. I mean, that was a super quick one th run through. I want to show you guys what's in World 1, though, because a lot of things have actually been added. Um, so I'm actually going to take a little bit of time here, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the new thing called Masteries, which is in the game. So if you come over here, click over here, you get Masteries. Um, and as you can see, each one has different abilities to it so if you drink potions or if you craft potions you will increase your mastery level for potions enchants i think it's just crafting breakables obviously you break stuff for economy you can either sell to the merchant or you can buy from the merchant or you can buy from vending machines all three of those will work um for economy mastery and then for eggs mastery i mean open eggs um yeah not much to it. One of my favorites, though, is the economy mastery. I'm trying to get to where is it? This one, level 99, where it automatically buys vending machines that cost coins. Um, and, and then vending machines that cost coins are free. So like, you get you, you literally just go up to a vending machine and it automatically play. It, it, it's straight up free. Um, however, one of the earlier ones that you can get, which is super nice too, is level 10 option to buy entire vending machine stock so you can literally just come up to a vending machine here and just hit four instead of having to hit three and then having to hit one again you just hit four and it's done um something i actually want to show you guys also in every um obby at least in world one it seems they've added a new chest um so if you go this way you can see the chest right here um and you can just claim the chest and of course you have a chance to get a huge um and so this chest right here is at once every hour some of the other chests are different i'm gonna show you guys where all the different chests are so that one is in the classic obby um and i'll show you where the next one is all right so you guys just the axes here and then you gotta make this jump over which is really tricky um do it from the side there don't try it from the middle i tried it from the middle many times and died but um anyways and then you just open it up and you get your free stuff and then you can just go back you don't even have to complete the obby and then if you come in here into atlantis there's the chest right over here so you can just collect that um and just leave all right, and then over here is the next chest. Um, you do have to go the hard way. You can't take the easy way, like up there, if you were to go straight. Um, here, I'll show you really quick. So you, um, <clears throat> you have to go that way, where the little pouty face is. If you go straight, um, you won't be able to jump down. There's a little barricade there, so we have to go the pouty way. All right, and the next place here is at the flower garden. Um, I already collected this one. This is a three-hour cooldown, so um, that's why I can't collect it again. But that's the next, uh, like, rebirth chest, I think is what they're technically called. All right, and the next one is cart ride, cart ride with Preston. So you start down there, just go up the track, um, and then right here is your chest. So you just got to hop out, get yourself on the corner there, and just make the jump. And you got your chest. Also, something else. So something else noteworthy is if you come to the daycare here. If you enroll your pets, um, you can also get huges now from the daycare, which is really sick. Along with like huge list of other things, but um, so you can also get huges from daycare, which is awesome. So yeah, um, something else I want to touch on really quick is this thing you see right here. Uh, so what that is is you go down here to ultimates. Uh, you have a whole list of different ultimates. Um, obviously, some of them are more self-explanatory than others. Pet Surge, for example, will make your pets attack faster and stuff like that. Um, Black Hole, it, I mean, you can read what it says. Um, Chest Spell, you can read Tornado, Curse Tornado. And TNT Shower, of course, just brings in TNT Shower. So, if the longer you have these equipped on you, the higher tier you'll get. Um, as you can see, I'm only tier 30 for Ground Pound. Um, if I use it right now, you can see it only does about that much area damage. But the higher tier you are, the more area damage Ground Pound will do. Um, apparently, it seems Black Hole is the one that everyone wants. So if you have a Black Hole, maybe sell it. Uh, it's 107 million. Um, and then just buy it again when prices dropped. I sold this for 9 mil earlier before prices dropped. But um, yeah, so that's practically what all this little bar is down here. Um, it goes up slowly if you AFK. However, if you are tapping your screen and tapping breakables, as you can see, it goes up way faster. Um, also helps if you decide to buy yourself auto tap. Um, auto tap will do the same thing as if you're tapping breakables and make this bar go up super duper fast. Something else that was also added in the update 
is you also now have the ability to craft level, I think, nine potions, is it? Yeah, level nine potions. Um, and then also the ability to craft level eight uh, enchants. So as you see here with enchants, at mastery 50, you have the ability to, ability to equip tier um, eight enchants. And then finally at level 70, you have the ability to craft. Same thing with potions. At here, um, level 50, you get the ability to drink tier 9, and then at levels, or tier 70, you get, sorry, level 70, you get the ability to craft tier 9 potions. So yeah, that's pretty much the update. Uh, one other thing is there is a limited time, huge event going on, uh, where you can catch huge happy computers. These things are probably going to drop in price, these things are probably going to be as, probably, they're probably going to be about as, um, worthless as the huge happy rocks but again it's a huge so i mean don't pass it up um and you can hatch them from any of these eggs so you can see all these guys here holy cow there's a lot of people here <laughs> you can see everyone here just afking um trying to get to the huge it doesn't matter which egg you do uh so say you're low on money you can just do the first egg you have the same odds as if you did this egg here um the only difference is that if you do decide to do this last egg, you also have the uh, um, chance to quite possibly get um, one of the huges that is in rotations, as you can see right here. But anyways, guys, that is just a video on the update. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.